Good morning, Scorpio, and happy birthday. Take a deep breath, guys. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you guys. Hope you're having a great day. We have a little bit of construction going on at my next door neighbors today. They already did my house. And that's very scorpionic, you know, going very deep. So we're unearthing some stuff today. Let's see what the card says. I'll pull a few extra oracle cards for you guys today. I'm going to start out with the animal deck for you guys. I haven't used that in a while. So from the animal deck for Scorpio, and then we're going to uh, do a full read with clarifiers, and then the energy deck as usual, and maybe a, a couple others. I think I'm going to bring Scooby-Doo into the into the read today. <laughs> I think we need some uh, some humor there. All right. So for Scorpio, let's see um, what is the energy we're starting out with today for Scorpio. Ooh, that came swinging out. It was smooth as silk. So let's see where we are here. The bottom of the deck is six of winter. <laughs> it's so funny with the sailboat because last night I was getting a lot of messages about the mast, which is the support or the, um, the rod. And it was coming up in different words, not just mast, but other words as well. The same kind of upright support system of the sail, the wind, the wind beneath my wings, I guess. Um, we have the six of winter here. The rescue cat of a mixed breed, the challenge, challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Like go, let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. Okay. So this is like the six of swords, um, smooth sailing. Okay. So that's really nice. That's the underlying energy. What came out for you, we have the three of autumn with the first prize there, the miniature poodle dog. Your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best, is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. So again, this is about being your true authentic self, and most Scorpios are pretty good at that. Okay, they're very, um, it's very natural for Scorpio to be um, true to themselves. Sometimes it could be a little bit too harsh, or maybe a little bit deeper than other people are comfortable with, but they are, that's one of the things they're very good at. Um, Princess of Autumn is cheerful, reliable, intelligent, and mischievous. The Tabby Cat, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. Okay, so you may be going to something new. We have a lot of green here of autumn, which is very Scorpio as well. And we have two cats coming up here and a dog. There's something here. Just give me one second. I just want to feel into this for a second. I'm getting something, somebody swearing in. I don't know if you have an, it's a job that's official in the legal field, but there may be somebody swearing in and that could just be swearing in to somebody, a partner or someone you're talking to. But there's definitely some kind of props here and crowning glory here. Smooth sailing into a new field. All right, let's, let's see where the read goes. All right, Scorpio, I've already pre-shuffled. I'm going to shuffle a little bit more as I go. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminine's Mars and the Masculine's Venus. And today is 
what is today? Today is October 23rd, 2020. And this reading is for the first, it's now through the first half of November. It's really for the first half of November, but it will include this time. It can be sooner for some and later for others. It doesn't have to be exact. It is this time period of the first half of November. And if you come upon this read at another time, there's always a message there for you. So for Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is the Gilded Tarot, and we're going to clarify with the Rider Waite Mini. All right, so Scorpio. One more shuffle here, Scorpio. For first half of November, first half of November, Scorpio. First half of November 2020, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, that came out really smooth, actually, and I don't feel stressed. So let's see what comes out for you first. Wow, the star. Nice, Scorpio. Look at that. Dreams come true. Shining your light. Healing. It's beautiful. The challenge for you is the Four of Wands. Perhaps a move or perhaps some instability with the home or the marriage. The foundation here is the Five of Pentacles. Perhaps feeling left out in the cold in some way. Whether it's financially, whether it's feeling left out of a group, whether it's some kind of injury or illness you've been dealing with, okay, or it could just be the, the issue with the um, state of emergency with, with the world, what everybody's been going through. The recent past is the King of Wands reversed, okay, which that could be a harsh energy. That could be someone who's just been, who's really exhausted. It could be someone who's sick and also could be the King of Pentacles really pissed off. Okay, you don't want to deal with that side of them. If he's reversed because he's sick, I'm not getting so much sick. There may be some, because of this um, destitute type of energy here, that could be related to him being pissed off. Or it could just be sick or tired or sick and tired of something. But maybe sick and tired of this energy here getting all the light, the stardom, because there's a lot of, of, of light there. Okay. The crowning position for you is the Four of Swords, focusing on the heart, perhaps getting rest, praying, meditating, or just taking a break from things. And what's coming for you is the Five of Wands, which can be conflict and fighting. It can be games and competition like sports. You know, it could be kids' sports too. But this is also the pursuit of happiness and or the quest for the impossible dream and going for it. So you see yourself, Scorpio, as the Ten of Cups reversed, which can be, it can be an unhappy family or uh, an, end, an emotional cycle that's just overdone, just done, okay? That's, and that is really good. It's like, I'm so done, right? Where you, if you questioned yourself over and over before about whether this ending should occur or just stay this way, now you're very sure about it. What's around you or how you're seen is the Page of Wands reversed. And this can be frustrations or a child who's frustrated or uninspired or perhaps sick or having temper tantrums. Any of those energies can come up with this. And this could be the source of the unhappiness in the family because of a child who may be sick or frustrated and having temper tantrums. This also can be some kind of physical, physical something that comes up that needs to be addressed. The blocks that you have that you need to work on has to do with um, the Six of Cups reversed, which can be a negative past or perhaps a bad childhood or just bad memories from your childhood. This can be kids who are being difficult or you're having difficult dealing with the child's issues. Or this can be the past returning. But either way, it's about that past energy returning. We end up here at the lovers. Wow, Scorpio, going from the star to the lovers. Lovers, guys. It's like fighting for a big love. Being the star that you are. And this could be somebody around you. So let's see how that comes up. The connection to what's left hanging in limbo at the end of the read is the page of pentacles reversed. So this is the connection. And this connection has to do with someone who needs help, right? Perhaps in need of help, money, or opportunities. This could be someone also who has learning disabilities or never learns their lesson, perhaps on purpose, because they found if they don't do it, they can get someone else to do it for them. And that then becomes the opportunist as they grow older. 
So what is left hanging in limbo at the end of your read, Scorpio? The Queen of Wands reversed. All right, we got a King and Queen of Wands reversed. That's not a pretty sight. But there's also the Lovers Upright. So this is kind of curious to me. Let's see what's going on. You will get another card. It just won't be until the end of the read, and it will probably be more than one, depending on what that next card is. So just let me just uh, see what's going on here. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, and we're going to give you a little backstory on what's been going on, okay? So let's see what's going on for Scorpio here. Boy, it's very mixed on the, on the table there. And I'm sweating my butt off right now. So there's a lot of masculine energy coming in for you, which can be your energy, even if you're a feminine energy. Scorpios can, can be very dominating when they want to be, which can be very masculine energy. All right. All right, so we start with the Temperance card, which is all about patience and balance and a higher love. Okay, so starting out with that, we have injust Injustice here with the Justice card reversed. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Emperor reversed, and then we have the Seven of Cups reversed, the Devil reversed, and then the Three of Cups reversed. So some kind of injustice here in implementing some kind of plan, perhaps after being still and no movement, trying to go forward with how to invest your money. Do you want to go back to work? Do you need to find a new job? Or are you just going to retire? Whatever you're going to do with your money, there's a plan here after injustice or some kind of imbalance in your life regarding the emperor. Or perhaps the emperor is making these new plans without you because he's reversed. Perhaps dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve, getting clear on what they want, whittling down their things, their activities, their options, perhaps getting rid of stuff from the house. And this is a detox, all right? Detoxing perhaps of a third party situation, but this also could be social distancing, right? This can be negative influences or groups around you, right? People who are overindulging, who are drinking too much, partying too much, all right? Too much um, antisocial behavior. All right, so that's where we're starting here. And being that there's a king and queen of, of wands on the table, it could be a third party situation, or it could just be um, two people who've been stuck in the house with each other too much, and they're just pissed, or both are sick. Or again, both could be sick and tired. So let's see where the clarifiers go here. We definitely have someone being the star, someone feeling left out in the cold by that, by that someone shining their light. There may be instability within the home or the marriage, like I said. That can also be the challenge, can also be um, perhaps going to visit someone or actually coming home or a homecoming or um, there just could be literally issues with the home itself as well. And the blocks for you, Scorpio, has to do with your past. So whether it's your own issues from the past or falling out in the past or, diff or just difficulty with your children right now, because we have that also above the, uh, the page of wands reversed. And this could be your own, your own childlike nature, but it's not coming up positive here because we have frustration and tantrums or sick or tired here with the page of wands reversed. You know, there's a lack of being excited a lack of inspiration and here with the Ten of Cups reversed, it's a cycle that's just overdone or there's unhappiness f across the board. All right, so this is feeling left out in the cold. And then this again could be third party, social distancing, no social life or overindulging. Okay, whether that's you or the other person. So whatever I bring up for you, if, it's, if I don't say it really specific to one person, it can go either way if you're dealing with two people here. So let's see what the clarifiers, what's going up or going on. Maybe that's a, a clue there. What's going up? What's going up? Because on one hand, there's amazing energy here. And the other, and the other end, someone feels very left out of that amazing energy. So why do we have the Three of Cups reverse for Scorpio? Why do we have the Three of Cups reverse for Scorpio? There's a little nervousness there about that. 
Why is the Three of Cups there for Scorpio? Why is that? It's very cho the deck is very choppy. Why is the um, Three of Cups there reversed for Scorpio? And we have the King of Cups reversed, but it's very choppy here. Very choppy waters. Perhaps doing something under the radar or feeling like a failure. The King of Cups reversed can, with the Three of Cups reversed, can definitely be a drinker. Or, you know, something antisocial or definitely having to do with no joy because the Three of Cups upright is joy and this is reversed. This can be someone feeling like a failure or maybe they were successful but not now. This also can some, be someone who's an inten attention whore, right? Someone who's too needy for attention all the time. And this can be also someone who's emotionally detached or emotionally un unavailable. Or, like I said, someone who's over-emotional and perhaps is the drinker side of it. Two sides of the same coin. All right? So there's definitely some kind of, uh, and it doesn't have to be alcohol, but some kind of addiction in that sense to um, social addictions, you know, which is like alcohol, something that's very prevalent amongst socializing, which can be drinking, it can be, you know, uh, marijuana, um, any kind of thing like that that's like somewhat socially acceptable but is interfering in your happiness because there's it's coming up with detox here. Detoxing, social distancing, or a third party, or and that doesn't have to be an affair. It can be any kind of third party interference, and that can reference the use of alcohol or drugs, that kind of thing. The King of Wands is reversed here above this in the past. Why is that? Maybe he feels above all that. Why do we have the King of Wands there? It's very, This deck is very sticky with Scorpio here. All right, here we have the Ten of Cups again, reversed. Feeling very burdened, a heavy load to carry by ending an emotional cycle or a family cycle here. There's two Tens here, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands upright. This is Atlas, the weight of the world upon your shoulders. The end of an emotional cycle or family or just no emotional fulfillment at all and feeling very burdened by this. This is the King of Wands. All right, so, and you're seeing yourself as the Ten of Cups reversed. So there's definitely a connection between this energy and the King of, of Wands unhappiness. Maybe the King of Wands, the masculine in the relationship, is feeling very burdened by taking on all the responsibilities of the unhappiness of the family, or definitely a disconnect. So whether this is a disconnect between partners, the, we have the King and Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. This is definitely a family here. So whether there's a disconnect between a parent and a child, between the parents, or between all three, it looks like they've all three gone to their separate corners, all right, and disconnect. And this could also be at a distance. So why do we have the Five of Pentacles in the foundation here? Why is the Five of Pentacles? All right, somebody's inspired by this to offer love. Perhaps uh, to an upside down Aquarius, but this also can be someone who's deliberating this offer of love. This is someone offering passion one direction and love in another direction. Feeling left out in the cold there. And maybe because someone offers love to the Aquarius energy here or someone who keeps deliberating your love or they you keep delivering their love whoever's not getting a response from the love offers then turning around to offer their passion elsewhere we have um aquarius reversed and then cancer reversed but scorpio sometimes comes up in one of the chariot cards for me we have aquarius reversed cancer reversed there let's see from the main cards we have Libra reversed in the underlying energies, Aries reversed, and Capricorn reversed, all in the underlying energies. Libra, Aries, Capricorn. Very cardinal energies there. All reversed. You know, you don't want the leaders not on your side, which is kind of that energy. The center of the read, though, is Aquarius upright here. So this Aquarius energy is a different Aquarius energy. This is the Judgment card, this is the Star card. This is upright Aquarius. So there's two different Aquarius energies, but this is before. So this could be the same Aquarius that's now upright here. 
And then we have Gemini here. So it may, the main cards in the, in the current read is Aquarius and Gemini, both upright. And this can be that the Aquarius felt like not empowered before, feeling stuck, perhaps because of the state of emergency or because of a breakup, a breakdown, a breakthrough, a break in, or someone feeling broken in by someone else. That can be as well. But now that Aquarius energy is upright and the star of the show. So what's going on there? Um, I'm not going to put these down, but what's coming out right after the, the chariot here in the foundation is someone feeling freed by the Queen of Cups without affection here. This can be the Queen of Cups freeing herself from a relationship or the, the um, and that can be Scorpio energy for sure. She's upright. Maybe she's happy without any affection right now or in a breakup. Maybe she's freeing herself from the relationship. So whether it's Scorpio or Aquarius or Cancer, we have Gemini reversed here too. Whoever in Aries. So all of those signs that I brought up in the read could be freeing themselves and happy about it. So I'm going to put that back in the deck to see how that comes up again. So someone could be freeing themselves from the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Cups is freeing herself from a lack of love or from a breakup and feeling defensive, like no longer wanting to be in that energy. And I want you to see this because we have the we have the Knight of Cups here, upright, offering love. And here is the Queen of Cups freeing herself to be with that Knight of Cups. Actually, I'm going to leave that down there. because It's very much showing a relationship between the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Now, this doesn't have to be you or your relationship. It could be someone you're around. It could be a family member or friend. So it doesn't have to be you. Because you're coming, you're seeing the unhappiness in the family. So this could be not your immediate family, but your, um, you know, the family you grew up in, your extended family, your parents, your aunts and uncles, your sisters, your brothers. So, but we have the king, queen, and page of wands all reversed. So it looks like more of their issue, or maybe they're just all unhappy about what's going on with the rest of the family. So let's see what else is going on. Why do we have the star in the middle of your read, Scorpio? All right, someone feeling imprisoned by that. All right, there's the, the Knight of Wands rushing in passionately to save the day, right? This is the victim and savior. This one needing clarity before they come in to save the victim. This one always wanting to be the star of the show, right, to save the day but needing clarity in order to do that. Like this one doesn't rush in to do anything until they know for sure that this is what they want to do. But this is someone who gets their stardom from being the one who rescues others. And then we have the page of wands coming up upright here. So we have a, a knight of wands and then a page of wands right there. It's like, um, it can be two kid-like energies, but this can be an, in a relationship, the way you're behaving with each other as well. The Knight of Wands is going in one direction. The Page of Wands is going in another direction. They're both excited and inspired. One is going back to save the day, and then the Page of, the page of Wands is inspired to go forward with new inspiration and perhaps inspired by the Queen of Swords who instead of speaking here is listening to the Page of, of Wands, hearing, hearing what they have to say. So one's going back to save someone and one's trying to find out the true story about what's going on. I'm just getting Hollywood true story just came up as well. So why is the challenge here the Four of Wands reversed for Scorpio. Well, that flipped over really quickly. There's the Wounded Warrior. So someone's feeling very wounded, like the victim at home or in uh, a move or an end of a marriage, an end of a home. 
someone's feeling very victimized here in a split. There's definitely a, some kind of split or divide here, whether it's a relationship or mother-child or is being split from a home that you love. There's definitely, you know, this split and third energy type energy. We've got the lovers here. That could be one big lie too, like that the relationship or the home, maybe someone lied to you about the home that you bought or sold. There may be a lie there. In the present moment, you have the four of swords focusing on the heart space. Why is that for Scorpio? This is the letting go after holding on. Holding on, grounding, being moderate, right? This isn't a whole lot of money or time, money, and effort. This is the four. You know, you don't have a lot, but it's letting go something to make some repairs, fix. This can be making amends with other people as well. Maybe you're holding on to a grudge, and this is letting go of that grudge to make amends with someone. And someone's really meditating on that stuff and receiving a lot of love from that meditating, resting, or taking a break. Right? Someone may have been too stressed out, perhaps after losing money because of the state of emergency we've all been going through, and receiving love from the hermit reversed. And this can be your own um, isolation and now coming out with offering love by making amends with someone. But this is all through rest and relaxation, focusing on the heart. And there's the four of, of wands coming up reversed again, along with the four of swords. So this is meditating on, uh, maybe you've been receiving love for someone that you need to come out about, but it may cause problems in the home or it may cause a move. This also can be laying something to rest. Maybe the move will actually lay whatever needs laid to be laid to rest. Maybe that'll end that situation. This also can be someone who's passed away, but the death energy is not in this read. This is somebody, if it is, it's someone who's already passed. Maybe you're having a service or memorial, so it's just a very sad event for everybody involved. All right, so... What's coming up here is the five of wands upright. So why is that for Scorpio? Why does Scorpio have the five of wands here? There's some grief or just um, suffering in silence, up nights, not sleeping well, headaches, purging, crying, whatever it is. It's very unsettling, but the worst is now going to be over, right? Or maybe you're up nights saying, when is this, when is this all going to be over? the fight, the fighting. So this is definitely not a positive thing with all of this energy here. This can be bringing in the bliss from the stress, but it feels with all of the swords there and you know, this, the nine of swords upright is like the worst of the swords energy, right? It's not ready to go into the 10 of swords. It's like somebody wishing this would end already, but you're stuck in this suffering and silence energy, whether it's purging, um, going through dark night, or just fighting in a relationship here, or with multiple people in the family. This could be fighting with people in the family. Or again, it could be about a, pa a death that happened already and fighting about the details around that, or perhaps inheritance stuff or just fighting in general, emotionally with family, unhappy family or ending a family situation or a family cycle. So why do you see yourself as the 10 of cups? All right, this is, you're dumping emotional attachments, whether it's to people, places or things, getting rid of all the extraneous things that no longer serve you. So this is when you have a lot of choices, seeing synchronicities, but identifying the one that really resonates for you, you know, even the one may be the unknown, right? Maybe the scariest of all of not knowing what's actually underneath there. But this also can be something orchestrated, right? Something set up to confuse you. And so it's about getting rid of, you know, when you finally identify the one that you want, like after you're out shopping, you have to whittle things down and then get rid of the rest. It's that same type of energy here. We also have the queen of pentacles, which can be you or can be someone around you who's very um, loving, stable, and well-rounded. You know, she's someone very nurturing who takes care of other people. 
and she could be scaling down her emotional attachments. Maybe you feel like you're one of those. And here could be a mother and daughter who are both very well grounded here. And these could be two people in your family as well, maybe that you're not getting along with, or maybe they're having um, a garage sale and maybe you can benefit from that. Or you're getting rid of stuff and maybe they can benefit from you getting rid of stuff. There could be an exchange there. But it looks like the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Sovereign, Nine of Pentacles, is a mother and daughter or just her independence that she's she has everything that she needs except for someone to share it with. So she may be getting rid of some stuff and you may be able to benefit from that. What's around you or how? Actually, I want to show you what's coming up next is the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card. Because this can have to do with um, a coming together here at work. Perhaps with the justice system and or Libra energy here. You Maybe you feel the need to emotionally detach from something that you only have a financial connection with. And that could be people at work. Something legal, a legal tie that you have. Maybe if, even though there's nothing wrong with the energy there, because we have the Queen of Pentacles upright, the Nine of Pentacles upright, and the Three of Pentacles upright, which is amazing energy. And that could even be a workplace for you, which may be your saving grace right now. It's either you using that as your saving grace, that's your justice in the situation, what can set you free, or you may be, social, you may be distancing yourself from that as something that's an emotional attachment that's not serving you. So it can actually go both ways. And you're, there's definitely a choice being made, whether it's by you or by this Libra energy or the judge. This could be a judge making a final decision. And that can reference this page of Wands Reverse too, which could be a Libra with uh, fire in their chart. Let's see what else is coming up here. Why is the, um, the page of Wands reversed there? So the page of Wands reversed is recovering from grief, loss, regret, from guilt or shame, from the past, whatever it is, they're getting over themselves and they're about to manifest, make magic here. The, this child or this childlike energy of the Page of Wands is taking a brand new path. They're making, they're going to manifest big, but it may be um, opposed to what you want from them, if that's not you. The Six of Cups reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Why is that the block for Scorpio? Because there's a very close tie here, whether it's with a child, a soulmate, a lover, a, a best friend, a sibling. All right, this could be some kind of um, sudden soulmate, you know, a sudden awakening. But the block here is a negative past around this connection. Or maybe you have a history of, of a falling out with another relationship like this, so you're kind of scared to go into it again. But there's some kind of sudden epiphany about this connection. I mean, it is a beautiful, like, past life type connection here. Or your connection to your child. Whereas before it was perfect, whatever this relationship was, it was perf this perfect soulmate relationship, and now it's reversed. And that's a block for you. And it's referencing the page of wands reversed and the lovers, which can be a great affection. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. So why is the lovers coming up here? Why is the lovers there? Well, we have the page of swords, which can be an air sign child. So it can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or it could be someone spreading the word, stepping up to the plate to take a swing at something. And there we have the king of swords. This can be father and child, maybe um, coming together to work together. Or they're on the same page, but maybe you're not agreeing with them. So now you feel alienated from these two. This also could be, um, this could be an, un, um, an unorthodox relationship. It could be an older man with a younger boy in a relationship. It also can be... Uh, It can be the fact that maybe a child's coming out that they're gay. 
and they are, and the person that they're with is much older than them. But that can be just a father and child as well. And that can be a father and child, like, like I said, coming together in a, in a business way because they're both on the same page or they have the same ideas. But again, if you're the feminine Scorpio, you may feel left out of this. Um, the King of Swords and the Page of Swords have been hanging out. Perhaps you feel like they're stealing them away from you. Because someone's feeling very defensive and guarded over here. Or It's like this Page of Swords and the King of Swords are hanging out together and taking back, taking their power back from the enemy. And that doesn't have to be you. This could be you observing this situation. Because a lot of air there. That top part with the lovers is like all energy. And like I said, Aquarius and Gemini are coming up. And we have, we have Aquarius and Gemini upright, but we have Libra also reversed here. So this, there's all this air here. Now, you don't have any air on you. I mean, it could be a partner that you're with, could be related to their situation and their family, but you're involved, of course, because you're, you're the partner. So you could be fighting in your family or your partner's family. Or, and again, it could be after a, a passing of someone because there's no death in this read. But this is about like putting, laying something to rest or someone to rest. And then here is after the painful death or ending of something. But this is still suffering because of the fighting here, the conflict, the games, the competition, the pursuit, whatever it is. The unhappy, it's like, like maybe you've always had a lot of fighting in the family, but it's really like elevating. It's, it's, you know, getting kind of out of control right there. Why do we have the lovers here at the end with all of these, like I said, it's the page of, page of swords and the king of swords hanging out together, taking their power back from this energy, the five of swords, which is coming up with being present to depression of being still, like reaping the rewards, but no movement, like feeling stuck that they can't go anywhere. This could be someone with no work um, or lost their job or is being a stubborn bull, right? Or perhaps they have a disability or just afraid to go out in the workplace and get a job. But this is, there's some depressive or Aquarius reversed energy here. Maybe this, this is someone who wants to retire. And maybe you as Scorpios have been dependent on them working. And now they're, going to de they're depending on you to work. Maybe you're not happy about that. So, so there can be multiple situations here. You know, some Scorpios may be dealing with their immediate family, having a disagreement, the king, the queen, and the page of wands reversed. Or these three can be upset because of extended family issues and fighting here. So why do we have the Page of Pentacles reversed? Well, the Page of Pentacles reversed, like I said, is someone in need of help, money, or opportunity, or has trouble learning their lessons about lovers, perhaps. Perhaps the Queen of Wands reversed. And this is feeling stuck in your head or no peace, no peaceful place to go in some kind of energetic exchange. some back and forth communications, travel, or just energetic exchange between someone with no peace and someone who's unhappy being alone or just never satisfied. So this person, no peace because this person's never satisfied, but they're in energetic exchange with each other, whether it's communication, travel, or direct energy. And it's about someone, the Queen of Wands reversed, never learning her lesson, right? And that can be seen upon as an opportunist. So why is the Queen of Wands there at the end? Why is she reversed? And that can be a Scorpio. Also could be Taurus there. There could be some a fight between Taurus, uh, Taurus reversed and Scorpio upright, or this is the same person. This could be a Scorpio with Taurus moon arising, okay? But this could be a very stubborn energy because the Empress reversed is either someone who's sick, ill, injured, 
a, or a miscarriage or even abortion. This could be abortion or miscarriage. But also this can be someone, an older person, if they're not sick or ill, who's very controlling and not a nice person. But this also could be the death of this person, of a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. So it's either, it's either issues because of family or extended family. It could be issues because of a death and the, the grieving of that death. It could be issues with work and choosing a new path at work. But there is a love relationship between the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. But that's not necessarily Scorpio. That could be another, they could be other Scorpios or Cancer and Pisces type energies. We have Aries here, Cancer, Aquarius. And, but this, this up here, this coming together can definitely be a service for someone who died. So that can definitely be some kind of service that, that you are very upset about as the feminine Scorpio. Um, so that could be a loss that you've experienced that you're celebrating right now. This also could be coming together with someone who's ill or someone who's almost, you know, on their deathbed, but it's been a long time, you know, or it could be, um, trying to come to get back together with someone to make amends. Okay. Whether it's just someone older than you, a mother, an aunt, a grandmother, a boss, coming together after a separation. And then you see the threes here. And then we have the three over here, the cups. So the three of cups is reversed here. It's possible, maybe someone that you've known is, and maybe it's someone you knew that ended up as a third party. And that's not for everyone. There's definitely other more, you know, family related stuff going on, but for some, it may be a third party and it may be someone that you knew, but this is all destined. So whatever it is, is destined to bring you into the present moment, to really be present in the moment and have gratitude for what you do have. So whatever negative energies you're in right now, it's destined for a reason to bring you into yourself, into the present moment, to really know yourself. I'm getting, um, like the Muppet Christmas Ghosts of Christmas past. I don't know what he says. Know yourself, man. Know yourself, man. That's the energy I'm getting. The next thing that's coming up is the Six of Wands. This is good news coming in. Recognition, success. Going on a journey, leading the way, right? Ending the war. And this is destined. So per perhaps this is destined to set you on a new journey here. All right, so let's clarify those two cards for you. Why does Scorpio have the Six of Wands and the Destiny card there? This is innocent love, a message of love, a child of love, right? That can be Pisces energy of a higher love. This can be very much child energy of a higher love. This could be a child who's just a beautiful soul here. And there's that child energy, someone who's fully energized, full disclosure, not hiding anything, and is very innocently loving. Okay, this is beautiful energy. So whether this is you or your child, which it can be, or it can just be a loving message. This can be puppy love as well. we got Sagittarius and Leo here and Libra. And then these three are coming up again. So that's the depression of what whoever's stuck at home. Someone's like left behind, disabled, with no job, or retiring. This could be someone retiring, like, but there's some unhappiness about it. About I don't know if it's the person retiring unhappy about it or the other person. But whoever is just reaping their rewards and being still. There's stuck energy around that, whether that's depression, loss of hope, or arrogance. And this is feeling stuck again, stuck, disabled, the stubborn bull. Someone can be seen as lazy in this card, not going forward, refusing to work or get up. This is just stuckness. So there's one, there's one energy that's beautiful and on its way. And it seems like this Pisces child, but that can also be a message of love. 
So it doesn't have to be a child. It can be for sure, though. But there's Sag and Leo energy and, a, and Libra energy, very upright at the end and really positive destined energy. But at the same time, there's another energy here, perhaps with Earth and Aquarius, that's of a not happy here. And then these three cards want to be seen. So here's the story with the Page of Cups. This is completion. The King of Wands is eyeing this feminine energy, marching to the beat of her own drum, whether it's a Pisces, or this card can be any sign. It doesn't have to be Pisces. But he's really appreciating her now. And this is about an opportunity and taking that opportunity, perhaps an invitation. Perhaps this is a child. You know, this could be a, a father who's now free from a child who's going off to do their own thing and now focused on this energy that he wants to hang out with. So this could be a, a feminine energy or this can be the world too. Like maybe he wants to travel or just go see the world, drive around the country, drive around the neighborhood. Perhaps with this child or maybe this child's going off on their own so that's now freeing him to do what he wants. And that's the king of that's the king of wands. And the king of wands is reversed over here, and the queen of wands is reversed over here, and the page of wands reversed here, and the page of pentacles reversed there. So those are the major players in the read. And again, it's the underlying energy is negative Libra, Aries, and Capricorn in the past. And that could all be associated with the King of Wands and or third party situations or influences. And then we have Aquarius totally upright in this energy. And this doesn't have to be an Aquarius. This can be any sign who's having their dreams come true. But whatever, whatever one person is experiencing in one extreme, another person is ex experiencing in the other extreme, feeling left out. All right. But there's definitely, you know, a fight with family here or fighting an ending that's very painful. And again, it could be going over and over. It could be someone you've lost already that you're going back and grieving again or having a celebration for them. And it also could be love, you know, it could be a child's lover because we have a page of wands reversed and a page of pentacles reversed and the lovers. It could be like that, you know, Romeo and Juliet story where their parents don't like them together. That could be as well. But you may not be one of the kids. You may be one of the parents. You could be one of the kids. So let's see what else is coming up for you. The bottom of the, this, this deck ends up with the strength card. Let's see what was underneath that. So we're going from the king of pentacles, which can be a boss at work or just someone who takes care of other people withholding time, money, energy, perhaps refusing a loan. This could be a banker, you know, who refused a loan, refused um, to pay back something, or just withholding time, money, and effort, or playing hardball, detoxing, like, you know, toxic energies that no longer serve them. And this maybe left somebody else out dropping the ball because they can't keep their balls up in the air anymore. Maybe with a the business they're struggling and they couldn't get help with that and just trying to be strong. So this is you going into the read here. So let's see what the energy deck has to say about this. And in the beginning with the animal deck, we had someone going into um, a new field of work, whether that's a child or someone in the relationship here. But it feels like a child making a brand new start. And this child is really, the child or message or puppy love, whatever that energy is, is of a higher love. It's really beautiful energy. All right, so Scorpio, what is your energy deck takeaway from all this? Patience. This is somebody who's not happy. Like they have a lot. They have all the time in the world, but they're not happy. And it could be someone still getting over grief from something. Or this is someone unhappy because they've had their liberties taken away from them. And it's just a matter of time. So it's like not to allow other things to make your vibration lower. You know, you, you have to find the happiness in the moment, in the present moment. 16 is the tower. Okay, maybe it takes the tower to get you to recognize 
how much you do have. Because if maybe if you're sulking about whatever you're going through, and it may be justified, that's not the point. The point is, if you stay in that low negative energy, it's only going to bring you down and cause more negative things to come into your life as opposed to staying in the moment and having gratitude will help bring your vibration up and then bring more positive energy into your life. So that's coming up there. And that could be a two that can represent a child who's graduated, whether it's high school, college, whatever they graduated from and not being happy because maybe they were doing it for someone else, not for themselves. Maybe it wasn't authentic to themselves. So there is heartbreak, but this is also about expanding the heart. In order for it to expand, it has to crack open first. So this is the nine of endings of selflessness and compassion, right? Having compassion for yourself. Because this could be an explosive ending, a sudden ending, or a sudden epiphany about the need to expand your heart. You know, it could just be you're a child leaving the home and that, and you're brokenhearted. There could be some deceit around this with the knight. The 25 is the knight of wands. So there could be some deceit around this. But the knight of wands is upright. So maybe that the deceit is over now. Maybe the deceit has been revealed. And now because of this, everything's cleared now, but then someone's leaving. And that could be heartbreaking. So the bottom of the deck is the thinking man. Thinking man is figuring out their new mission, their new work, with what truly you know floats their boat with the 46, the six of cups, which is that... Uh, that inner child energy. Who am I to be authentic to myself and who is my, who do I really want to be with? So let's see what's underneath that. And someone has, may have backing or have had backing in the past from the two of cups energy, the woman holding a coin, but she's not real happy there. She may be a little bit too controlling. And so maybe this person wants to go out on their own and not have to depend on this energy because if this energy gives them the money, then this energy is going to expect that they do things their way. And so there may be a difficult two of cups energy that needs to go away, right? It's emotional attachments that no longer serve that detoxing energy of the two of cups reversed over there. So whichever side you're on of that situation or that equation, I'm going to pull a Scooby-Doo card for you now. Let's see. Well, there we go. And this is the back of the card, but I just wanted to see because it fell on my lap just like that. So someone might like be wowed by somebody else. There's somebody offering their paw. I think someone likes someone. <laughs> someone might, might be drooling over someone actually. That is so cute. Look, <laughs> they're really off balance by the whole thing. They can't believe what they're hearing and feeling. It's making them discombobulated. So you, somebody's really like excited about someone, but it might be throwing you really off balance and making, making you discombobulated. We have the five of expansion and then the four of contraction, right? Expand and contract. Breathe in, breathe out. And take a break. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. You're getting all these cards upright, though. So it's like when you feel off, take a break, perhaps go on a swing set and take a swing. Like this is somewhat, look, it's still, he's still panting. <laughs> but this is taking a break to get yourself, your mindset back in order so you can do your happy dance. And perhaps, yeah. Someone's kind of excited there. Oh, look. We're twins. Doubly excited. Getting your power back. Scooby's always good for a laugh here. And the bottom of the deck is the same. Offering a hand. Maybe someone wants to offer their hand in marriage. Or just friendship. But someone's really excited about it. <laughs> like Scorpio panting over something. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you, Scorpio. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest. Get your joy, get your nature. Be good to yourselves, guys. And... As always, rise and be love. I will see you very soon. I hope this was helpful. Have an amazing birthday month. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.